Let's get started with Nuxt using Create Nuxt app. We can use Yarn, NPX or NPM. I'm going to use Yarn. Type in Yarn Create Nuxt dash app and your project name. Let's call this my Nuxt project. Create Nuxt app is now going to ask you a few questions. Do you want the project name to be my Nuxt project? Yes. So just press enter. Which language would you like, JavaScript or TypeScript? I'm going to choose JavaScript. Which package manager? I'm going to choose Yarn. Do you want a UI framework? I'm going to choose none, but you could choose Tailwind CSS, Beautify, or whichever one you prefer here. You can add some modules so that they are pre-configured for you. Axios for fetching data, Progressive Web App, or the Content Module, a Git-based headless CMS. For now, I don't need any of these, so I'm just going to press Enter. Would you like linting? If you are not comfortable with using linters, then feel free to skip these. However, I am going to choose ESLint and Prettier. We use the spacebar to select the one we want. Let's also add lint staged files and style lint to linter styles. We won't need comet lint, but feel free to select it if you like. Testing framework. I'm not going to be adding tests at the moment, so let's just leave that as none. Rendering mode. Do we want universal or do we want a single page application? Universal is for server side rendering and for static site generation. So I'm going to go with that one. Don't worry though, we can easily change it later if we want to. Deployment target. Where are we going to deploy this application? Are we going to deploy it on a server on a Node.js hosting? Or are we going to deploy it on a static Jamstack hosting? Well, static Jamstack is free, so I'm going to choose that. Later on, I can always change it by modifying the target in the Nux config. JS config is recommended for VS Code when not using TypeScript, so let's add that. For this app, we won't be needing semantic pull requests or auto-updating of dependencies, although it is a really cool feature, so you might want to select it for your projects. Continuous integration? I'm not going to be setting up any GitHub actions in this project. Version control? Yes, I'm going to use Git, so let's select it, and that's it. I know, that was a lot of questions, but now everything is configured just how you wanted it. Nuxt will do all the work for you, so you don't have to manually install and configure everything you selected. Now I can change directory using cd my Nuxt project, and then type yarn dev, and it's going to run my project on localhost 3000. And there it is, my Nuxt project. Nice work.